hard as it is to believe, Mr. Pete. Yes, Mr. Kevin. Um, we actually kind of had have friends of the show who make comics. <laughs> that is kind of hard to believe. <laughs> and I mean, I know that, I know we know people who make comics, but, but friends, friends, and, and that make good comics. Yes. And those friends that we're speaking of right now are uh, Messieurs uh, Thomas Monsieur. Hall <laughs> and Danielle Bradford. I so hope they watch this. <laughs> I so hope they watch this and go, "What the fuck is wrong with you, Malcolm? <laughs> why do you? Why do we let you read our comics ahead of time?" Yeah. Um, no, uh, Thomas Hall and Daniel Bradford. Yes. Creators the gentleman of behind R13. R13, Robot 13, mm -hmm. which you love. I love. You love. I love. It. Yeah. It's it's one of my favorite new comics. Yeah. They, they do good work. Although, my one complaint is, where's the new issue, dude? It's I, been waiting a while. I was talking to Mr. Thomas Hall about that, and he's saying hopefully in October. That's not soon. Yeah. That's the opposite of soon. <laughs> well, they were working on King. Right. And King. this is what we're talking about today. We're reviewing King. Um, King, short synopsis, is the story of a former professional wrestler who is also dressed like Elvis who is no longer a wrestler and now kills things that have to do, kills things for hire, uh, most likely having to do with the paranormal. And the occult. And the occult. How do you know he's not Elvis? Um, because I talked to Mr. Thomas Hall about it. But if you read the comic, would you know that? Um, it, it is in the promotional material uh, ahead of time. I just uh, learned something. You just learned something new. I thought it really was Elvis. I, I actually did too first, at first, but... Um, Maybe Mr. Thomas Hall is leading you astray. Well, he, he could be. Yeah. So what did you... Misdirection. What did you think about this book? I this thought, A, it was fun. B, it was awesome. C, it reminded me of, uh, like, some Bruce Campbell, Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, plus Bubba Hotep, which is totally still... Totally. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a really Bruce good Campbell mix of that. But, like, it... I'm sure their character model might not necessarily have been uh, Bruce Campbell, but it really felt Bruce Campbell on page come to life. It was great. What I liked about it is that it's it's such an um, I kind of like the the writing of it really really uh, worked well. Like you have you, this is such a weird world where zombies are coming in a in a um, fast food restaurant. Yeah. You have to establish that was their portal. Yeah, you have to establish really quickly that that's what, something that can happen. So what? How does he deal with it? Uh, Elvis, or the king character gets a a heart in a box that has it's also robotic and demonic, and it and it tell and it hires him. Like that. There you go, right there. We know what we're expecting in this book. That's it's like in the gonna first be pages. unusual. Yeah, and um, this was only a one shot though. Just the one shot? There's not going to be. Well, I, there's, I believe there's going to be further kings, but this is. I believe this was shown. This was done just as a one shot. Oh, is what we were talking about. Do you right? think? Do you think there'll be continuing story, or you think it'll just be each issue will be like a one shot? It's a good question. I don't know. Because um, I would be fine either way. Like I would love a continuing narrative, but if it's just each one is just sort of a random one shot, like it's still great. It was a really fun read. Uh, uh, one shots that that reveal a little bit more of his backstory, so mm -hmm. so you know he's a professional wrestler. Um, there, there is, a, there is something more planned, because um, I know his. Uh, oh no, I won't say anything. Wow, it sounds like you should be talking to him today instead yeah, of I know. me. Let me interview Thomas Hall. How are you? I'm Thomas Hall. <laughs> I make Robot Thirteen. <laughs> what you and can make one of their names? Now he's British. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all Thirteen, chip. Or is that Australian? That's a little bit of both. <laughs> he gets around. Racist. No, he travels. Or maybe he was British and then Australian penal colony. Because he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. He's a good guy. Um, but King, I yes. liked it. It's out there for uh, purchase here now, I believe. It is out for purchase now. You do have to, I think, special request it from your comic shop. It's not in your usual chain of distributors. Yeah. But you will not be disappointed. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Whoever orders it and doesn't like it, I'll buy that copy off of you. That's a bold statement, sir. For a penny. <laughs> Had to... <laughs> Because you're going to get 500 requests. Hey, you get, you get some money back. This is one of those books. Actually, if I if if there were extra copies of the store, I'd probably I'm gonna I would buy them yeah. and then hand them out to other people. Yeah, and I I don't know how much you do this when like when you read and you always think about people who are like, oh man, I'd love to get back into comics. Like I always have that my thought of like, oh, if I was trying to get someone into comics or who would express interest in being into comics, 
what would I give them? This is definitely one that I would sort of throw down that way. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, it right there, there's good storytelling in the art. Yep. The art is good, too. And then there's also, the, the story is great. It's it's self-contained. You don't need to, you know, I, a 20-year veteran of comics, knew no more going into it than a person who was a one, the, this is the first comic in their life. It actually sounds like you did know a little more. You no, know, afterwards. Oh, after. after. Yeah. So, right. anyway, A+, plus, thumbs up. Yes. An A plus thumbs up. That's our new. There you go. Wait, I think I think that's the sign because luckily there's the thumb and there's the. I hope the we're end. not doing a secret gang sign that we don't know about. Right. The yakuza will come, come be coming for us shortly. If uh, if folks wanted to sort of search some of this stuff out on the internet, where do you think they could go? Uh, they could go to, well, uh, black. Do this, Google or Bing, whichever you choose. Uh, the R13. Blacklyststudios.com. Well, yeah, I know Blacklist Studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that too. R13 plus King. See what you get. Blacklist Studios. Is there is there their studio? Yeah. But you can also actually weekly you can also find Mr. Thomas Hall uh, with his uh, comic book fail uh, posts on our website. What? Yeah. Uh, at backroompodcast.com. At backroompodcast.com. And it's actually one of my favorite online uh, articles every week. He tells you how to how to fail at making a comic book. Check it out. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Record Man, the joke's on you. Running your label like it was 1992.